Alright, so here we have the Bugs 3's LED modification. See how bright that is. It's right below the front facing camera there. And the front facing FPV camera, which is 5.8 GHz, is where the LED originally was. And let's turn it so you can actually see without the light in your face. There is the LED super glued, well, hot, hot glued to the bottom underneath the FPV camera. So, let's get this thing flying. What we're going to have here is the footage of a camera looking at the bugs and the top of a table that it's flying over, as well as the FPV footage that we can see through the goggles and through the front of the drone itself. This part was shot right when the sun had gone down and there was still a little bit of light remaining. The cell phone camera actually wasn't even picking up that light, but the FPV camera was. Uh, but there is definitely a difference. You can see the LED is kind of pointed downwards and it is lighting up an area on the table. I definitely feel that in a dusk setting, right when the sun is going down, or right after it's gone down, if you're just trying to get that extra fly time, I can see how a low-powered LED like this would be able to work, but I really think that you're going to need a more high-powered spotlight LED in order to be able to fly at night. And you'll see what I'm talking about here further in the clip. One of the things I want to mention right now is safety. There's a huge concept of building habits, especially with things like this when you're flying drones. It's, it's not a safe thing at all when you have a large, uh, well, I mean, a mini, a mini to large size drone. And these props, it's just, it's pretty intense. Uh, there's going to be something you're going to see right here. I actually lean forward on my controller and launch the drone into the air about 50 feet. This is what I mean by safety, guys. It, it, especially at night, you can be a little disoriented. You're not really paying attention because you're trying to see. Your eyes are really overcompensating. And all you have to do is throttle all the way up or roll too hard to the side, and you can hurt somebody or yourself really bad. And not a pretty sight, guys. The drone did have a wobble issue after the crash because the props were pretty bent and beat up. I went ahead and switched those out though and then fixed that wobble. At this point, I'm not trying to fly FPV at all because it was impossible to fly in some of these areas completely dark and when you have the trees are at a distance and you're too high from the grass, you really cannot see a thing. So I went ahead and I just practiced walking around flying at night. The light was pretty bright to where I could actually see with a visible eye what was going on. I could see very well what direction the drone was facing and everything in front of the drone. So it was really easy to do a night flight as far as from line of sight. So that's kind of an added bonus with keeping the LED on the drone even if you do switch to FPV. As you can see, the LED did kind of do its job as far as up to about five to 10 feet in front of the drone. Even with those washer and dryer you saw there, you could see it, that was about 10 plus feet away. So I think the issue is maybe adjusting the directional pattern of the LED, or maybe just going ahead and getting a better, more directional spotlight LED. As this one seems to be one that was meant for just a lighting effect, as in a bright light effect. It did come positioned behind a frosted screen, so that's why I'm hypothesizing that that's the reason, or that's what the light was originally designed for. All right, everybody, well, that's going to be it for this night flight with the Bugs 3 LED and FPV mod. I hope you enjoyed the crash in the trees. That was uh, pretty interesting for me. I think I had a mild heart attack. But besides that, make sure to check out able1tech.com as well as laltradio.com. And don't forget our new channel, Micro Flyer FPV, everything Tiny Whoop and Micro Flyers come in on that channel as well as a new podcast coming here this next week 
Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you on the other side.